Well, on the phone with us at the moment is the former CIA director, James Woolsey. Mr. Woolsey, there's so much to ask you about at a moment like this in terms of your experience, but um, as our political director, or actually that's not true, as a former senior White House official said a short while ago to one of us, there's going to be a hellacious amount of finger pointing at the moment. What's, ha what's gone wrong here? Well, one thing that's gone wrong, Peter, I think, is that for some years now, uh, we have adopted a theory that terrorism first was uh, likely just to be uh, sort of a pickup team, these loose associations of uh, terrorists inspired, say, by the blind shake in New York. This was the thought in the two bombings, uh, one attempted, one real in New York uh, back in the early 90s. And then um, uh, the Clinton administration veered off into saying everything looked like it might be uh, Osama bin Laden. Uh, it's important that we realize there is a real possibility when you have something this devastating and well coordinated that there could be state action of some sort behind it now i don't know that that's the case and i won't say that it's the case uh, but there is at least a plausible case that there was iraqi government involvement in the world trade center bombing back in nineteen ninety three uh, this all has to do with the identity, the true identity of Ramsey Yusuf, who uh, was the mastermind who's in prison uh, out in Colorado now at his sentencing. The judge said, we still don't really know uh, who you are. And uh, if there was a chance that there was Iraqi government involvement in that, since Yusuf was the mastermind of the World Trade Center and of a bombing plot in the Pacific, uh, which he was working on when he was caught, to have a lot of American uh, airlines in the Pacific blown up, uh, what happened today is a sort of amalgam of the earlier two Ramsey Yusuf uh, plots. Um, it's at least, I think, interesting uh, that that's the case. And, uh, and uh, if some of the observers, Laurie Milroy and others, are correct, that there's a reasonable chance that he was, in fact, involved with the Iraqi government, uh, there could also be a chance that the Iraqi government is involved here, even if bin Laden or other terrorist groups are as well. Uh, can, can I just ask you uh, just a couple of really elementary questions about intelligence? Y you've just done something on the air which strikes me as what intelligence officers do when they sit down to try to figure out what the heck is going on. Is that, is that in fact, what you're trying to do at the moment? You called it an amalgam of two plots. Is that, how it, is that how it works at the moment? Well, this is nothing but circumstantial uh, evidence that I've been talking about, but it's interesting circumstantial uh, information anyway. And yes, that's the sort of thing that I think intelligence officers need to do. Part of the problem with the World Trade Center bombing back in 93 is that most of the information about it uh, was under grand jury secrecy until uh, the trial, and after that not many people uh, paid attention to it. So even most of the federal government had no access to it except outside the FBI now, and parts of justice. Now you mentioned, uh, you mentioned governments and individual organizations or operations. Don't governments traditionally leak information more than, than independent or semi-independent terrorist cells? If there were a government involved, is it, is it not inconceivable that the United States didn't pick up something? I think it's uh, possible that uh, a government could be involved and not uh, be picked up, especially if it was operating very carefully as the Iraqis or conceivably the Iranians might uh, under these circumstances. Uh, it is normally somewhat easier to learn what's going on inside a government than a, a terrorist group, particularly one that uh, doesn't uh, uh, use many communications uh, and the like and uh, does everything within just a very small number of people. Uh, but it's not impossible that terrorist groups could work together with the government. Uh, that uh, the Iraqi government has been quite closely involved with a number of the Sunni uh, uh, terrorist uh, groups, and uh, and on some matters has uh, had contact with Go bin ahead. Laden. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Olsey, I think I just lost you. No, I said on some Our matters at the moment, and I hope we'll get him back on the telephone. The former director of the CIA, James Woolsey, on the phone, uh, agreeing that there's going to be a heck of a lot of finger pointing at the FBI at the at the Department of Defense uh, and at the CIA. No, I have my FB, thank you very much. Um, I just lost the director of the CIA. Okay, thank you very much. Um, because as this former official in the, in, in the White House points out, people are gonna demand massive retaliation. Mr. Woolsey ra raises uh, quite uh, two quite fascinating uh, possibilities. One, that there is a terrorist organization or group involved with a government, that there is, as there has been believed in the past, a terrorist operation within the Iranian political establishment. 
which perhaps even other parts of the Iranian political establishment didn't know about, um, and similarly true, though much likely for them to be operating in ignorance of Saddam Hussein uh, inside Iraq as well. Uh, but the reason that, um, and I bring John Miller back briefly in on this again, the reason he suggests an amalgam, um, Mr. Woolsey does, of two footprints is because of the potential, never perfectly proved, that Ramza Youssef, who has been on trial and convicted of the first trade tower attack, did seem to have some tenuous connection with Iraq. And that this is a mixture of, of the two plots right. that were, were his two um, big capers. Right. Uh, one, the plot to blow up numerous airlines on the Pacific route uh, targeting American tourists. The other, um, the other to uh, blow up the World Trade Center. Here, planes, uh, American carriers have been used to attack the World Trade Center. Okay, uh, I, I, I as, apologize. Uh, no, as, as, as Mr. Woolsey pointed out, the difficulty with Ramzi Youssef and really getting to the bottom of the World Trade Center was while he escaped as the mastermind and while he was captured in a, a guest house funded by bin Laden, nobody ever knew who sent him in the first place uh, or what his real nationality was or even what his real name was, which set him apart from all the other people connected with those cases. Truly a mystery man, still in prison here in America. Yeah, somebody said a few, uh, a little while ago, too, uh, in terms of everything we're looking at now, suspects, there's no good options on the table in this regard whatsoever.